Hi everyone, I'm Domenico and today I want to talk about Superfile. Superfile is a modern and elegant terminal file manager. Think of it as a replacement for better known tools such Ranger, NNN or VIFM. So let's not waste any more time and get started. First of all, we have to reach the project website. I leave the link in the description. And then go ahead to the installation section. Now, the only thing you have to do is to literally copy and paste one command into the terminal. Superfile is available for Linux, macOS, and Windows as well. So in my case, I will copy and paste this command into my terminal. But now I can skip this step because Superfile is already installed on my system. An important requirement for Superfile to work properly is to download and install a nerd font. Link in the description as well. It's not mandatory, but is highly recommended. For this demo, I use Cascadia font, but you can choose whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Once you have downloaded the font of your choice, you can proceed by extracting the archive into a suitable path. Typically in Linux, these paths are user share fonts or user local share fonts for global installation and fonts or local share fonts for current user installation. It very depends on your distribution. You can get an idea by reading the config file in the etc folder or by typing the following command fc list and press enter just like that. The last step is to update the cache. This can be done by running the following command fc cache space hyphen f. Windows users can instead open the settings menu, click on personalization and drag their files into the character box. Now we are ready to go. Let me clear the terminal and type SPF. This is how Superfile looks like. As you can see, the layout is divided into six panes. The main pane shows you basically the file system. You can navigate through it with arrow keys. You can enter a folder by pressing enter. And with the H key, you can get one level up. A clever function is that you can show the hidden items by pressing the dot button on your keyboard. The main pane has two modes. The first one, which we have seen so far, and the second one, the select mode. You can toggle between them by pressing V key. We will see this in a moment. Let me introduce the other panes first. The left pane, that is the sidebar pane, shows some common directories and your favorite ones. You can focus on it by pressing S key. By the way, you can pin your favorite folder by pressing the capital P within the selected folder on the main pane. So press S again to remove the focus. For instance, let's see, I choose this one. I press capital P and then the folder is now listed here. The process pane shows a kind of history of the operations performed. We will see it in action shortly. You can reach the process pane by pressing the P key. The metadata pane shows a bunch of details of the directory or file we are focusing on, such as the name, sites, permissions, and so on. You can reach and navigate the metadata pane by pressing, as you might guess, the M key. There is really nothing to say about the clipboard pane. It's self-explanatory. Let's focus instead on the last pane. The preview pane shows you a preview of the selected file in the main pane, if available. I prepared an example in the temp directory for this purpose. 
temp directory and this is the preview of the demo text file well it probably seems all quite confusing but once you get into the mechanism it becomes a straightforward process now it's time to accomplish some basic operations with the key combination Ctrl plus R you can rename the selected file or folder so Ctrl R I call this name one okay with Ctrl plus N you can also create a new file so Ctrl N I can call this demo okay and to create a folder instead we can simply insert a slash at the end of the name so control n again then two slash we see it here finally control d deletes the selected files or folder so control d confirm control d and confirm and you see here that the process pane fills up as you proceed. Another thing I want to show you is how to copy, cut and paste a file. You can do it with the classic combinations that we all know, that is Ctrl C, Ctrl X and Ctrl V. To make things easier, I create another pane with the end key. You can create up to four additional panes one two three four yes four and get rid of them with the w key so now i copy this file take a look at the clipboard i move to the other pane i've just created and paste you can move from one pane to another by pressing capital H and capital L. Now I close and reopen Superfile so I can start from a clean situation. The last tasks I want to talk about are compression and decompression. You can compress a folder with the key combination Ctrl plus A and the compress with Ctrl plus E. I will then give you a quick example. So Ctrl plus A and Ctrl plus E. You see it here. The same applies to files. If you remember, I mentioned the main pane modes earlier. If you press V, you can switch to selection mode. With selection mode, you can select multiple files or folders at once and perform the operations you wish. Here's an example. I will delete the files I just created. So I switch to selection mode. I select the items with the enter button. I delete them. Okay guys, that was a very quick demonstration of how Superfile works. There are still a ton of stuff to discuss, like themes, key bindings, plugins, and much, much more. Please refer to the official documentation for these topics. It's very fun and easy to play around with the different combinations you can create. Okay, guys, I'll give you a little tip on how to change themes. To change the theme, you can simply edit the config file located at this folder. So. Uh, let's look inside the config file for the theme entry. We need to edit this line. So in the theme folder, you can search for all available themes. Uh, so I just pick this one for this example, the Dracula. Theme, um, to change the theme, I use the set command. And now the theme should be changed. We can verify it by typing SPF. Uh, this is super file with the 
Dracula team. I think that Superfile is a cool and handy tool for all users, even if for seasoned Linux users who you know love to stuff with nothing but the terminal. Anyway, let me know your considerations in the comment section and if you use other similar tools. Well guys, we are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and see you the next time.